Hello, one and all. This is Captain Luckless, and welcome back after a brief break to the sunless skies. Sorry about the delay. Uh, just, you know, real life happens, and uh, I just couldn't, I couldn't record for a few days. But I should be back to more regular voyages to the sunless skies. I did get a chance to talk to the crew a little bit, though, and I found out more about the curators, who are a race of bats that were involved in the fall of London. Um, they didn't actually make the decision, uh, but they were responsible for sealing the trade and, and executing it. So they actually carried London down. Um, and they were also basically top agents, agents for someone else and ran a big part of London in Fallen London, where they were called, uh, referred to as master because of their position of importance. But uh, as we noticed, um, there was a Mr. Pennies that we talked to here in uh, Lestrum. And it seems like they don't quite have the influence they once had, but uh, I'm sure we're going to find out more about them as we as we brave the skies together. Also, there is another story from Whiskey Con Mayo. Whiskey Con Mayo says, Luckless, like many others, had been granted 30 years uh, to work in service of the edification of London when he'd first crossed Avid Horizon, the gate to the skies. He had, of course, no intention of honoring that deal. A lifetime of misery in the rookeries of London and a lengthy stay in prison had not precisely stoked the flames of patriotism in his heart. And so he wandered about London, wasting his years in brothels and opium dens. But he could not remain so for long. He still felt the roar of storm in his heart, and the tales he heard in stations and engine yards filled him with, the dream, with dreams of discovery and glory. At last, he decided to gather a crew among his old prison mates and his comrades in the knotted sock and took to the skies to roam wild and free. Did he find wealth there? Fame? Did he perchance hear the voice of his beloved, the daring thief, wandering among the domains of the dead? I may know, or I may not. I may tell, or I may not. Another round. Thank you so much, Whiskey Con Mayo. I really love reading those stories, and thank you everyone that's sharing their knowledge of uh, you know, Fallen London and Sunless Sea with me, since I, I'm, I've, I'm totally new to this world, so... It's nice to get some some perspective from uh, those of you that know a lot more about it. And um, I was taking a look at the journal, and I think what I'd like to do now is I would like to... I know we were talking about heading um, back north to Somerset Camp in Port Avon, but after looking at the journal, I think, I think what I want to do is head to, um, to the south, to Hybris. So we've got the Pernickety Factor... Uh, who's request transport. She wishes to go to Hybris. We've got the retiring filmmaker who also wants to go to Hybris. Um, I feel like there was one more thing. Assumed identity. No, we still have to go to Prosper for that. Maybe that was, maybe those the only two things. Oh, the also the other thing is that we can go to the circus as well on the way. And this is another Mr. Mr. Menagerie, right? Who is also one of the uh, the, the curators. Apparently they didn't have a actual, there wasn't like a name for their species in Fallen London or in Sunless Sea, as I understand it. So this is the first time they've been called curators, which is really cool. Um, Yeah, so what I'm going to need to do is we're going to need to get some supplies to get going. I've only got two fuel and we've got no supplies and our terror is actually really, really high. So I think I'm going to grab one fuel and maybe just three supplies. I kind of, I want to head to New Winchester first, I think. I don't know if I want to go through here, though, because this is like enemy central, and we've got this uh, nightmare as well to deal with. We could go down this way and explore a little bit. There's some like offshoots that we could check out. So maybe I'll go to the south and to the west. And what is it? What did uh, the circus have? Supplies. Titania had fuel and supplies. I think I'm going to go to New Winchester. So we've got 10 crew. The more crew we have, the more supplies we use up. Maybe I'll get four supplies. And also, I think I'm going to get... I think there was a deal here, right? Yeah, the souls. I could sell those at New Winchester, so let's buy those. And didn't I have, did I have an opportunity? 
by the way, I'm I like I've been sitting on this particular opportunity, the literature for Traders Wood, for a while. I might just if I see another better one, I might drop this one and grab something different. Because uh we gotta we gotta get moving. We need cash. We're only at 72. Okay. Okay. Let's take off um the south and to the west to New Winchester. This is obviously a faster way, but I think it's more dangerous. And we could do some exploring as well. We go the other way. Okay, let's head out. Both excited and nervous. It's been, it's been a little while since we've been on the skies together. It's amazing how close I was to Lestrum. Oh, the other thing I could do when we go to New Winchester is I could uh, give in the port reports that I've that we've received to make some money. I, I really like my overall goal is to get a new ship or at least get. Um, oh, this is probably a mining opportunity, right? Yeah. Get a new ship or um, keep upgrading the existing one that we have. No. We're also, um, if you remember, we did decide to uh, collect nameplates, right? Where was that? Sweet Jane's Vengeance. Windward Engines, if we want to. So, I don't know. I don't know if we're necessarily taking a side in this war, or more like just uh, profiting from, from one side losing. <laughs> losing some ships. And maybe we'll take the other uh, opportunity as well, so we can profit from the destruction of either side's ships. Okay. Let's do... Let's do a little roundabout here to see if there's any way to go down there to the south. Also, I got to keep my, an eye on my supply so I could use the bat. You know what? I think I might send it out right now. Oh. Okay, let's avoid that. Oh, shoot. There's a curator there. I do not want to fight that. Oh, it's chasing me. Okay, let's let's take a look at the star stuff. See what it's got. This is not good. Oh man, these are veils. Please, I hope we. I always want to click on this, but I have to click on this. Let's enter through the yawning tear in the hull. Partial success. Okay, you lead the boarding party into the groaning hull. You'll need to be quick. It sounds like it could tear itself apart at any moment. Insulated in your sky suit, lamp held high, you lead them onwards. Plies, munitions. We could get the munitions um, for Lustrum. Let's get the munitions. We lost one crew. You carry crates of shells and powder back to your vessel. No sooner are you back aboard than the wreck breaks apart, spilling its remaining contents into the sky. It's only then that a headcount reveals your one short 10 terror. But we did get two crates. That's good. I'm just, I'm running. I do not, like this, this is such a tough opponent last time. It's going to cost a lot of resources to take him out. And I just, uh, we're, we're, we're right on the edge in terms of terror. Oh man, it's just it's just stalking us. Whoa! It's way faster than us, eh? I might need to pull some moves here. What do we have? Let's go let's go to the north maybe. Oh man, it's it's on us. It's on us. Nope, looks like it's turning around. Oh no, it's catching up. This is so horrifying. Oh no. Okay, let's do 
Okay, we definitely turn faster than it. Whew. Okay, it looks like it looks like it decided to turn around. All right, all right. So there's a night, another nightmare down there. That's good to know. I bet you down here it might be the way to get to the well. Or it's probably here, and I think the weather moves around. So I remember there was a uh, there's a big storm here. So if the weather moves around, we could check that out on the way. What's up here? Another mining opportunity? Terra stalks your locomotive. The princess sits in the unlit galley. Her teeth white in the dark. Invigorating, isn't it? She whispers. Terror is taken over. Oh, we need to get back to New Winchester. Everyone's on edge. She's been away for so long. Second of October, 1905. The Bonnie Shepherds. Okay, we found a new a new place at least. And what's over here? There's a little little spot we haven't explored over here. Looks like it's just a way through. We're out of that icy area. Oh man, it's terrifying there. But I guess if we want uh, some some tough fights, this is the place to go to fight curators and uh, the scribes. Okay. Nothing in this area. The clamor of New Winchester. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> I actually have a smile on my face right now just to be back in a safe place. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the uh, the other regions too. It's probably going to be very different from here. Bancroft's Forum. And the music. Yes. Cracked glass. Recent damage to your engine cracked some of its windows. Now boisterous winds have shattered them entirely, exposing your crew to maddening light to the maddening light of the stars. Wow, your crew will just have to endure the starlight and the drafts until you reach port. Leave them broken. Replace the broken windows. You need your crew and yourself in sound mind. Repair the windows of the pane of stained glass from your hold. We don't have stained glass. Manufacture stained glass. Spectacles for the crew. Well, 40% chance. Failure. Frig. That old tyranny. Your starboard corridor is soaked in starlight. Your crew avoid it where possible, but inevitably some of them succumb to obsessions. They cannot work if, if every task must be done in alphabetical order, or every object around them ordered by size or shape or color or date of invention. We're at seven crew, we need six to operate properly. Damn. This game is getting rougher and rougher and rougher. Okay, what is our, what are we at? We're at 80%. And it dropped immediately down to 50%. <sighs> okay. Let's go to the, the uh, shops to begin with. Um, okay, what do we have here? The Winchester uh, windows. Mob allegedly sponsored by the Widmerd Company recently shattered some of the stained glass windows of Victory Hall, seat of the Colonial Embassy. A renowned glazier at Titania has been commissioned to manufacture a replacement, even more magnificent than the last. She will pay for up to five panes of stained glass. Titania lies to the south. south uh, we know where Titania is. 
the tack tackety war effort. Okay, so... Victory Hall, Titania. We might be going there. It's not a bad idea. What's this one? Munitions for Port Prosperous, Parsimonious Chairman. Wait, is this... And this is just... I think I just have to bring it back here, right? Or do I have to bring it to Victory Hall? I think I bring it back here or to uh, Victory Hall. So let's let's take that one. We'll drop this. Okay, what does it say? Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't say specifically where I need to take it to, but it does say Windward Company, and it says possibly Winchester. Okay. Um, it's a bazaar. Let's go to the market. Let's sell the souls. Made a bit of a profit. I think we bought them for 50. I don't have anything else to sell. Other than the munitions. Right, I'd like to hang on to those uh, for when we go back to Lustrum. We're going to need some more, f one more fuel. Oops, that's ammunition. Um, let's go one fuel, one supply. Oh, that's selling. For 60. Wait, uh, it was supplies here, right? I should probably get one more fuel. Or actually two more fuel, maybe. Hybris was... They don't sell supplies or... Uh, or fuel. Hmm. I imagine there's probably another port over here. Maybe just in case I'll get one more supply. I just cannot seem to uh, secure money. Like I can't, when I'm not completing these uh, opportunities, getting money is uh, is becoming tougher and tougher. Okay. You have to complete missions or uh, those opportunities. We need to repair also. Thirty nine. That's worth it. Okay, let's take off. And we're going to drop off our port reports. To Victory Hall. I'm going to keep going to Victory Hall because... Um, actually, this is a tough call now because we did get our bat, right? What are what are the what are we looking at here? Tacities fortunes are at twenty one and the stovepipes are at thirty three. So let's go Tacities. Port reports. All right, we've got three hundred more sovereigns. Lost three fortunes. The stovepipes gain three fortunes. Tacities. And we want to trade. I don't think. How many of these do we have right now? We have a lot of otherworldly artifacts. We don't need those. Savage secrets. I think I'm out of them. Nope, I've got one. I think I might just hang on to the hang on to it for a bit. Favors. I I, I think does it say
doesn't say the uh, actual... I mean, I know there's favors here. That's fortunes, right? Hmm. I also need to get crew. I should have grabbed some crew. I can go back down and get some from uh, Winchester, I think. I think I hang on to the... the uh... I think I hang on to the favors. What does it say, though, here? Chat with the injured veteran. You can get something here. Help out with the war. An opportunity. Her skin is brown and her hair is beginning to gray. She wears a heavy unbuttoned coat. Metals gleam in the shadows behind its lapels. One half of her face is scarred from frostbite. She's enjoying a quiet cigarillo while her peers argue in the chamber of assembly. Oh, this she's just this is the same thing, so it's just poor reports. Alright. Okay, let's take off. I turned the right way this time. So we're up to how much? 382. Can I get crew here? I don't remember. Oh man. This game is um it's really stressful sometimes. Promise of days, maybe. No. Oh, there we go. Right. Higher on crew. Uh, we need three. Okay. I kind of want to get... One more of each. Just in case, because we're actually going quite far. Okay. Oh, I do have stuff in the bank, eh? I think I wanted to grab some tea. Wasn't there something? There was something I could do with that tea. I can't remember where it was though. But you know what? I don't. Since I don't. I don't have a ton of space. I'd rather keep this open for more uh, things that we pick up. But um, at some point, I could sell all this stuff. So we've got souls, we've got hours. Seeds. Okay, let's head out. Uh, first plan is to go to the circus, where we can complete one of our uh, missions. And then we'll see, we'll see uh, how things are going from there. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any money from that. Feels more like we're just helping out the circus. I kind of want to, I think I want to explore uh, over here. Or just go straight to Hybris. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how the supplies are looking. It's not much point in sending out a bat right now. But it doesn't really cost us anything, so maybe I will. Once it reaches zero. Probably not going to find anything, right? No. I, you know what? I kind of... I can explore this side a little bit. Yeah. Let's just head there first. I feel very indecisive today. <laughs> I kind of at that point in this um, this world where we found a lot of things, and there's a lot of different options, like a lot of different directions we can go in, and I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to focus um, since it's become more open-ended. And I'm not really sure what the best thing to do is.
Okay. Ouch! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, the circus. Okay, we're right at the port port, of course. Uh, behind the tents. Tell the headstrong, strong woman her flyers are posted. If anyone from the re Reach visits the circus, they'll know to have something ready for her. This is this this makes me feel really good. We did get some money. Okay, 100 and a bunch of experience. You deliver the news while she's in the middle of her training. She puts the dumbbell down with exquisite form and fetches you a reward from her tent. Here, she says, wiping sweat from her brow with her forearm. I hope they'll bring something interesting. I've really missed being surprised. She smiles wistfully and returns to lifting her weights, keeping up a running commentary on the things she saw last time her act was popular. And the salon stewed gossip as well. Excellent, excellent. Can we help out the, the humiliated magician? Let's see if we can help him out. Breaks my heart you had to sit through that, he says, nodding towards the big top. Sometimes I wonder why I left Mahogany Hall. Then I remember how much plenty paid before this whole place lost its funding. He puts out the cigarette on the poster, then tosses it into an overturned top hat. I guess I can't... Oh, I have to do it this way, right? I have to go to the ringmaster. Repair the magician's props. Or purchase costumes for the clown. Let's, let's do the repair. The eight of bats. That's what he's holding there. The ringmaster passes you an envelope addressed to a shop in Port Avon. We have a friend there who will do the repairs for us. He definitely gathers his cards from the table. I wish we didn't have to rely on those bloody contraptions. Uh, but card and coin magic. Card and coin magic is too small to see from the upper rows. Makes sense. Okay. Um, okay, and then I, so you, can only, you can only take one at a time. Or Avon. Okay, so we have to get the carpenter and bring the carpenter back here. Let's go back. I think I want to go to the circus and uh, see a performance. Part of the family. Oh, we can collect free tickets. The urchin hands over your free tickets with no apparent enthusiasm. Let's attend some performances. Okay. <laughs> Say the humility magician's attempts to saw his assistant at half comes in a fortune end. The acrobatic twins swing from their trapeze, figures of perfect symmetry as they go back and forth. See, we're improving things. Afterward, the pensive clown trips into the spotlight, dropping the balls he juggles. It's silent enough to hear them hit the floor. The strong woman asks the crowd if they've brought anything for her to lift. They cheer as a group of 10 attendees struggle to wheel out a wagon full of crates and barrels. Not only does she lift them all in turn, she overturns the wagon single-handedly at the end to rapturous applause. That's awesome. Two sky stories. One vision of heavens. Lost two tickets, that's fine. The circus staff have hinted that the ringmaster might care for a word. We already talked to the ringmaster. The amusements. Terror has reduced. We lost our two tickets. We spent some time watching the sideshow attractions. The amazing invisible flea circus is immediately disappointing. The circus's strong woman, on the other hand, is arguably too good for the place, effortlessly uh, raising all manner of heavy things over her head. The problem is that she makes it look so easy that the audience just shrugs. It seems that the only thing she cannot lift is the mood. A known presence. Okay, we've got three now. We're at 49%. Okay, let's take off and uh, I think I kind of want to go straight to Hybris. Can we make it to Hybris and back with this amount? We can get Bronzewood here.
We can get some more unseasoned hours if we want to. I'll think about buying some on the way back. I think, uh... I think I want to head to Hybris. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna scout out this area. And if we get low on um, fuel and supplies, I can always go to Titania. Okay, let's do that. So... Try not to use the map so much. I'm assuming it's another port. Maybe it's another port that sells uh, fuel. I'm kind of I'm kind of getting ready for a fight though. I remember there being some ships in there because there's a great battle. Battle of Culverston. An alliance of marauders have made their home here amidst the bones of failed settlements. Okay. Oh, man. Kenyon's hand. Is that ship active? It looks like it isn't. So this is like pirate territory. Kind of like um, the area up here. We're getting low on supplies. I could send out the bat. In a little bit. Oh, the background sounds are so unnerving. Okay, it looks like that's just a roundabout. Oh, what was that? Is that something I could salvage? The Hour of the Wolf. What is this? It is late and you are alone. Doubts prey on you. Is this the path you should have taken? You trespass upon the precincts of heaven. What price will be exacted of you? What price have you already paid? Endure this lean, cruel hour. It will pass. 36% chance. Drink, drink, and forget the secrets that gnaw. Already your hand is on the bottle's neck. Developing a taste for the bottle. You have a savage secret. Heirs of terror. I don't know if I'm going to turn to the bottle. I think I'm going to try to endure, even though there's a really bad chance of us succeeding. No. We did gain a tale of terror, though. The prey. Your doubts are hungry tonight. They seize on your past decisions one by one, worrying at each like wolves at a lamb. Sleep is impossible. I know that feeling. Uh, when your shift arrives, you arise haggard and unrested. You splash water on your face and wonder what mistakes you'll make today. God, that's too, that's too, too close to home. Oh, there were some supplies here that I missed. Okay. Some fuel. So that's not going to go back around. And also, I don't see, uh, maybe there's another port over there. Decision time. Can't get supplies, right? I think I'm going to shoot. I think I'm going to go. Oh, 
Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just laughing at like how, how, how tense this is, how hard every decision is. I remember the, um, the ships with tentacles down here, the locomotives with tentacles. there. Fates fall. This is a bad idea <laughs> with their terror so high also. Fighting. Okay, maybe we can just sneak by. Or take advantage of this fight. To profit. Yeah, let's fight. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. We can gain the sovereign's 100% uh, chance. Let's do the captain's quarters. Captain's cabin. So let's do gossip. Okay. Well. It's a god awful thing. Rotting gently. Let it rot. Let it rot, I say. Okay, this... So it's not always the same confrontations. Things can change up. That's good to know. Right, 69%. Once we hit uh, hybris, though, it should go down. I think I'm going to use uh, the bats again. We're definitely consuming supplies faster than fuel. Cautious driver's not happy with hybris. We found something. That far away, eh? Okay. That's a really big radius. Fledgling Colony, it's been a while since we've been here, so uh, I'm going to reread this stuff. A fledgling colony trying to dig its fingernails deep enough into the spongy fungal fabric of the Reach to cling on when hard times come. It's a sad truth that many more settlements are founded than flourish. Oh, Hybris deserted. The colonists' houses are dark, and there's no sign of a soul about. Huh. The smithy is empty. No smoke comes from the Brendan's chimneys. The, f the fretwork on the town hall remains unfinished. A bee laced with curling fronds flies by. It's drone the only sound in Hybris. A bee laced with curling fronds. I don't, I don't know what that means. Scavenge the abandoned settlement for fuel and supplies. Is anything left uh, you can make use of? You're a long way from New Winchester. Where is everyone? The predictive factor is alarmed. This is very disagreeable. I was expecting to find people here. Disappearing like this is extremely rude. Okay, let's let's try this out. You split up and make quick make a quick circuit of the village. You discover tables laid out for dinner. Cold tea still in Fair Nance's pot. The notes in large print, half written for the mayor's council. Council meeting laid out on his desk. Abandoned bowls bob forlornly in the shallows of the marsh. You find the pernickety factor near the station. She holds up a muddy tarot card, the Ten of Cats. 
How peculiar. Let's keep looking. Hmm, it's making me think of the circus. Scoring the uh, pernickety factor. You brought the pernickety factor to Hybris. On the trail of the vanished colonists. All the colonists on Hybris have vanished. Great, we gained more terror. That's what we needed. Search the colony, 67% chance. Search for Mademoiselle Lumière. Filmmakers should be difficult to miss in this hushed, secluded place. Oh, we were looking for the filmmaker. Promised to leave New Winchester for good. She changed her mind. Been asked to bring a filmmaker back to New Winchester from Hybris. Hmm. I thought we were. I thought we were bringing the filmmaker here. Hmm. Well, we can write a port report. <laughs> Uh, the station master professes ignorance. His manner has not improved in the absence of everyone else. There are new shades to the fungus, indigo, crimson, jet. The trees have taken on a new pallid hue. Spores cloud the air. The silence is almost restful. Okay, let's let's try this because it's not gonna. It's not. We're not taking a chance. Let's see if we can find uh, lumière. Loud curses lead you towards an elderly woman fiddling with an antiquated camera. She sighs and shuts the frame. That'll do, she offers a trembling hand. Lumière, once a renowned explorer and filmmaker. Now, as you see. A cough rattles through her. You from New Winchester? I'll leave with you. I can pay my way. I'm done here, and my lungs won't tolerate much more of this, she smiles wanly. I have a premiere to plan. 25 sovereigns. Your <laughs> Madame Lumiere quality is now one. <laughs> All right. I guess we. I guess we like. We, we're probably gonna pick her up multiple times. That's gonna count up. Let's try searching the colony. There are surely clues as to where the colonists have gone. Success. The marshes are wild, the spores unswept. Laundry sits in piles in the wash houses. Several shirts abandoned in the mangle. The town hall has been set up for a show. A broken mirror sits on the stage. You find an abandoned set of tarot cards before a gold-framed mirror. A playbill for a marzipan and hollow. The wondrous wizards of glass has been discarded amidst the slow, uh, slough of uh, pillows. The pernickety factor makes a face. I hate to suggest it, but Palmier and Plenties might be able to shed some light here. They have magicians. Suggest consulting a magician at Palmier and Plenties Inconceivable Circus. Yeah. And the tarot cards, too. Maybe this um, show that they put on made them disappear? Guess we should scavenge this. Fortuitous find. The silence unsettles your crew, but in musty lofts and dank attics, in coal scuttles and log stores and pantries, you find enough to burn. Banded magician's props. And eat, too, with a little luck. Secure a journey, a return journey. Three fuel, one supplies, two more terror. Shoot. Be warned, now it is deserted. You will no longer be able to purchase fuel or supplies at Hybris. Plan your journeys carefully. Huh. The bazaar is still open. <laughs> uh, bales of cellar woven bombazine. Bombazine is worked in the dark. In candleless rooms with boarded windows, a milk eyed weaver sells rolls of the cloth she has made in her cellar. It's black and splendid, drinking the starlight thirstily. I think we'll pass for now. Shouldn't they be gone, though? Shore leave in a fungal meadow. Yes, R&R. &R. That sounds like a good idea. If we can. Join the crew in their song. So the crew requests a little R&R. &R. They follow you out into what passes for a meadow between livid mushrooms and oozing polyps. Sounds delightful. The silence of the place hangs heavily on you. Some of the crew attempt to break it with a ballad of the promised days. Join the crew in their song. It is part of your job to keep the morale up. Pushing back the silence. 
Your voices cut into the still meadow air, easing the tension. Even in a dark place like this, camaraderie offers warmth. You return to the train feeling considerably better. Oh, and that's the only option. We could have taken a chance to get more, I guess. Okay, well, um, even if we go to the west and it connects here, we're going to have to go all the way around, it looks like, even if it connects directly. So I think we go back to the east, head back to the circus, and see what happens from there. Got a ton of fuel now. Wait, is there an enemy there? There's a warning symbol. Hmm. What are we at now? 69%. It's not bad. I wonder if those Tackities are going to be transformed on the way back. I'm not looking at that. They are hanging out around face fall, eh? Seventy one. So we gained two, it looks like. Okay, okay. That's that wasn't too bad. We're fighting. People have an opportunity here to get some spoils again. It sounded like it was coming from the north. So maybe we're hearing it um, from over there. I don't see any fighting over here, so. Discontent. An engineer cries out, her voice hoarse as a professional mourner. It's gone. She point. Didn't we get this before? She points through one of the stained glass windows. A star. It winked out. You look through the glass, stars burnt upon the firmament. The specific patch of sky she's pointing to is indeed empty. But you couldn't say if a star had been there before. We can use supplies. 30%, 39. Let's use the supplies. We've got we've got some extra supplies, so I think we're good. Dispense an additional ration of brandy to distract the crew and improve morale. A reprieve. The prospect of brandy provokes a ragged cheer. Soon, the crew have rosy faces and broad smiles. Your locomotive resounds to a lusty, if approximate, rendition of How the Zailers Lost Their Z's. I wonder, I wonder what the lyrics are to that. No one looks out the windows, though. No one looks at the stars. Okay, we needed that anyways. Oh, it only dropped 2% for one supply. It's pretty awful. Oh, we're, we've almost leveled up really close now what's this question mark over to the right and is it going to be a trap taking bets oh wow I totally missed this homestead we can eat Reduce terror. That's a good idea. Spin them a yarn of your adventures. Try a sco uh, trade a sky story for supplies. That's probably a good idea. I could do the munitions for bronzewood, but we need the munitions for that uh, opportunity. Let's do the supplies. We're not starving. 
Hmm. It's probably not going to reduce our terror that much. Let's go. Let's go for the supplies. Your host is eager to hear of your adventures in the sky. Before you leave, they press a heavy bundle into your arms. Don't run into that. Okay. Oh, Marauder. Let's do it. There's two! Oh god, this might have been a mistake. Or an opportunity. Oh my god, I missed both of those. I'm a little up. Oh, he stopped. Go route. Woo. Oh, that was close. Keeping an eye on my supplies. Whoa, how is it able to just stop like that? Get some distance. A mounting terror. The driver hands tremble in the wheel. Thought I'd left fear behind. Apparently not. Shoot. Go, 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 go. Oh! Oh, you can make them shoot each other. I didn't even consider that. It's one down. Careful. Nice. <sighs> Raid the save sovereigns. Let's go back to the captain's cabin. Maybe I just go for the Sovereigns. Uh, I don't need the... I don't need the materials. One hull. Let's loot the hold. Aha! Solid crate. Carefully packed crate of munitions. We've got three. Okay, what was the... How many did we need for this? Three more. Okay, we can complete that. That's really good. Once again, our, our terror is creeping back up. So we're going to go to Palmyra and Plenty. See what's going on with Hybris. We'll talk to the uh, magician, I guess. It's about the same musician. Which is basically the same thing, right? Musicians are basically magicians. Um... Hopefully we can reduce our terror again a bit. That is the main thing that we're having trouble with because we're not finding new ports. That was the thing that reduced our terror so much was finding, discovering new ports. As we were traveling along before. Okay. New arrivals. Attempt to recruit. We could try. Uh, oh, no, we don't need anyone. What am I talking about? Let's listen to their stories. Okay, reduce our terror a bit. Tales of life and loss. The broken, the disavowed, the fugitives. Every visitor has their own story and a hole in their heart. A few demonstrate acts with which they hope to join the circus itself. Others talk of their plans to leave this place and resume their lives. Not today, but tomorrow. Or the day after that, perhaps. Okay. Behind the tents. Ask the humiliated magician about Hybris. An abandoned magic show and a discarded playbill are all you have to go on. Cool. The humiliated magician sighs as he inspects your playbill. That pair of rogues. It would be an insult to chickenery, chicanery everywhere to call them charlatans. His shoulders sink. I would know. He stands and walks over to a cabinet in the far corner of his caravan. He opens a small drawer and produces a slim heart-shaped key. There's a locked suitcase in my old house on Port Prosper. It has a red door. Near the station. 
If you could fetch that for me, I should be able to help you. It has all my old paraphernalia. So we have a couple reasons to go to, go to Port Prosper, specifically for the magician, right? Humiliated magician has requested you bring him suitcase from his some Port Prosper. And I think I have another reason to go. I have the um, <laughs> the passenger we've been carrying since the beginning of the game as well needs to go to Port Prosper, right? Um, fastidious inspector. We still haven't dropped her off. And was there another reason to go to Port Prosper? Aside from going to, um, we could take off to, um, not Elytheria. What was it called again? Albion. So, might be the time soon to head up, to head over there. Um, I think what I would like to do is first of all, get some supplies. Okay. How much do we have? 337. I could get these windows from Titania. It's really far, though. Go back to New Winchester. I've got two port reports. Let's head to Titania and then uh, I can get fuel and supplies there. Let me make sure I got this right. Five pains. Let's go there and get as many pains as we can and then go back to New Winchester. I'm pretty sure Titania, um, they were waiting um, for a suggestion on how they were to rebuild. I don't know if they just decide on their own eventually. Um, they wanted to know if they should build in this... Oh, Tacities, okay. The style of the Illithyrians or the Albions? Dude, man, come on! You just gonna smack into me? Watch where you're going! Damn, Tacities, they don't know how to drive. This guy gonna smack into me too? I should have just blown him up. <laughs> I'm on your side right now. Stop slamming into me. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I'm wondering if um, there's going to be anything new. Titania. We can also... S I think we could sell some stories, right? Since we have a lot of um, sky stories, we could sell some of those. Oh, I should use the bats. More discontent. Okay, well, more brandy then. At least our terror is reduced, so we're at 66%. Ah, one of the engineers is singing. One for the engine, two at the dock. Three from the parson, four at the clock. I can't read the rest. Um, We could force open the doors to the hole, 52% chance. I think I kind of want to just get the free hull. Should prefer repairs. Engineers don sky suits and retrieve the salvageable plating, using it to patch the worst of your locomotive's damage. I knew it. Well, what are those? You guys see those? Were those the bees? Oh god, they are, aren't they? Those are the freaking bees! Finish him. We got our next level. Oh, the sovereigns. I think I just get raid the safe. I, I, I don't know. I tend to get the same stuff over and over again. But let's try one more time. Yeah, salon dude gossip. What is going on with these bees? Do I do I fight them? Do they, are they gonna fight me? 
Oh! Flex. Oh, man! Interesting, okay. But are these like, are they hostile? I don't wanna, I don't wanna tempt them. I gotta, I gotta explore that area again. Interesting. I bet you I could have shot them and maybe fought against them. I want to see what uh, what they have to say. It's so cool how the world is constantly like evolving and changing. The thing on the mantelpiece. Look at all this stuff. You're in possession of a certain otherworldly artifact. It has begun to appear persistently in your dreams. Never prominent, but always present. Sat innocuously on a mantelpiece, half hidden in a shadowed corner carried casually by a loved one burn it a more certain approach this will cost you fuel but your terror will not increase okay oh offer it to the waste wave so we heard about the waste wave before um one of the gods that the skyfarers pray to it takes an interest in outcasts and the lost and tends tends winds as a shepherd tends sheep 50% chance. Do not have the attention. Tolerate its continued intrusions. To destroy its smacks of superstition, you'll not be driven to unreasonable behaviors by some heathen guga. Guga of the skies. Terror increases. Smash it. It will trouble you no more. Reduce terror by 50, but increase your nightmares. Huh. Should we take a shot? I'm interested. We have did we we have the attention attention of the storm that speaks, right? We don't have the attention of the waste wave. This is the most interesting option. What if I fail though? 50%. Let's try. This is this is just I'm interested. I'm like, this is what Luckless is all about. Luckless is curious to the point of like of to the point of like to his own detriment, right? Like we gotta do this. Offer to the waste wave. No failure. Returned. Making your way to an exterior hatch, you cast the artifact out and spit vigorous curses after it. The winds pluck it away. But when you return to your cabin, there it is, sat smugly on your bedside table. Are those frosty fingerprints on the base? No, seven terror. I tried. Also, Luckless is trying to learn about this world, right? Collect stories. This is not good. Those bees weren't there before. They had attacked Titania, but I didn't see them lingering around. Titania is cupped in the petals of a colossal orchid. Kitty was sent, lured with color. An enclave of bohemians have made it their home, seeking inspiration in the wilderness of the Reach. Okay. What do we want to do first? Two hundred and seventy-five. Good God. I can't sell anything. It's not like I have a ton of space anyways. Let's get one. Wait. Sell? What? I thought I was supposed to buy them here. Oops. A renowned glacier of Titania has been commissioned to manufacture a replacement. Oh, she will pay for them. Uh, I'm an idiot. See, I just read a renowned glacier of Titania has been commissioned to manufacture a replacement. So I thought we were, I was supposed to go pick them up here. Oh. Uh, well, that sucks. Ha! <laughs> 
I could buy the gourds of Chorister Nectar, I guess. And sell those. I could buy one. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm such an idiot. I did that before, too. Gotta read, gotta read those things carefully. Okay, let's buy one of these. We could sell it, at least. And then uh, we're gonna buy one supply. And... Um, how do I sell those stories again? Write a port report. What is Titania? A question with no easy answer. To the poets, a place of inspiration. To the stoneworkers, an untouched slab. To the playwrights, a blank page. A place of tranquility, of creation. And your interviewee pauses, suddenly looking worried. Do you hear buzzing? <laughs> Apologies, let's get inside. Yeah, I hear buzzing everywhere. Okay, we can't do that yet. Um, there we go. Five sky stories. How many do we have? 13. So I could definitely give up five. Awe inspiring. And should we have two visions of, he of the heavens? Let's not make this a total uh, waste of our time. Whoa. 300 sovereigns and 250 experience for a moment of inspiration? Yes. Since we have three. Definitely worth coming here. Art exhibition. Let's do that. Let's lower our uh, terror. You spend several pleasant hours surrounded by art, much of it painted with pigments sourced from the Reach's unique flora and inspired by the lingering threat of Chorister Bees. Once the visitors have moved away, however, they, me they immediately launch into lengthy diatribes on the many ways they could have done better. Okay, and then before, we're gonna, before we wrap this up, um, so hold on a second. I need to go... I guess I, I, do, I don't know where to get these stained glass windows from. Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't come across a place where I could get those. Well, shoot. I mean, it looks like um, Magdalene's, but I'm pretty sure they didn't sell that. Jumble of Souls. I don't think I've come across a place that sells that sells those. Um, so before I wrap up this episode, let's take a look and take a moment to uh, to reflect, to, tr uh, to choose a new facet. Picking from stuff we've all seen before. Hmm. Bell tolls. No, I don't know my own death yet. Wait, do I get a... Do you get a tale of terror? Is there something else that gives me a tale of terror? Minus one nightmare. Haunted too. Okay. I think I want to pick haunted. Maybe scarred. Haunted. So you are we are plagued by the past. Maybe our loved one. By some guilt or sin or old ordeal that will not let you rest. What is the nature of the haunting? We, we talked about this before. A ghostly presence, a chill on the window, a breeze when the window is closed, a pressure on the edge of the bed, as if someone was sat there as you slept. You're not alone. Or is it a nightmarish visitation? You find no respite in sleep. When your eyes close, your nightmares climb down from their spidery loft. And if in the morning the crew won't meet your eye, you know you must have cried out in the night. I think a ghostly presence. We're not alone. Maybe, maybe it's our love lost. Maybe it's one of the gods. Bringing ghostly presence. Maybe it's one of our crew that we lost. I don't, I don't know. But we have 
We feel a chill in the window. What do we get? We get um, hearts and mirrors. Let's do it. So what are we at? We're at uh, Urchin is our origin. We uh, had a spell in prison. We had a lost love. Promise of days. So we took um, we took the hours to come here and then we sp we spent them. We threw them away. <laughs> we had a narrow escape. We almost died. Um, steam and soot. So we eavesdropped on skyfarers and their tails. And finally, we have we are haunted by a ghostly presence. Very cool. And what are we at for our sky stories? Or not sky stories. Our um, tales of terror. Did we need seven or was it five that we needed? I think it was seven. But I'm going to wrap up this episode here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful time. As much fun as I am playing this game. I just like I've been playing it for a while now and I feel like I'm still just scratching the surface. There's three other regions to explore. We haven't even explored all of this region. It's crazy. This is like Captain Luckless signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you all.